In this demo, we'll look at the triangular polygon. We'll learn about its properties and how it can create complicated three-dimensional geometry. Let's start with the 2D coordinate system. It's made from two axes, X and Y. Within this coordinate system, a point has two values, in this case, X2 and Y3. By changing these values, we'll change where the point is placed. If we add a new axis, Z, the 2D coordinate system turns three-dimensional, or 3D. Now a point has three values, X, Y, and Z. This point has been placed at Z3, Y2, and X3. We can shift the point around by changing its values. Here, we're adding more points. In 3D software, these points are also called vertices. By connecting these points, we can make an edge. Three vertices are enough to make a triangle, which is the most basic building block of a 3D image. This is called a polygon, or a polygon face. Triangles are always flat, or planar, no matter how their points are arranged. A polygon face has a normal, which is the way it faces. The normal allows the computer software to calculate the shading of the polygon. By changing the placement of its vertices, the direction of the normal will change, and so will the shading of the polygon. A polygon can be single-sided or double-sided. If it's single-sided, it's invisible from behind. Polygons are infinitely flat. If you look at a polygon from the side, it's invisible because it has no thickness. Many polygons can be used to create surfaces with thickness. The corners of a polygon's object are sharp. More polygons are required if its edges are to be rounded like real-life objects. Many polygons are used to make up a complex object. More complex objects require more polygons, especially ones with curved surfaces. With enough polygons, any solid 3D shape can be sculpted.